Kelly Cherry and Jonna. We're going to show you how we make a famous homemade salsa, salsa with some of our favorite products. So, Jonna, what are you going to use? The Power Chef. The Power Chef. And we love that Power Chef. It will hit, it will chop, it will purify, it will emulsify, so you can make dressings and salsas, and we mix cake batters in it with this. So it has a blade in here, and with one spin of this, it will give you 87 rotations. All of our blades and Tupperware have plastic covers. Jonah's going to show you all how to use our Tupperware can opener while I chop a little bit of an onion to put in there. I'm just going to give it one big rough chop with our knife. Again, all our blades have covers. All right, go for it. Okay, so how you work it, um, you open it up, put it on the can, make sure um, this part is on the inner side, uh, this is on the outside. Put it on, clamp down, and then you can turn it however you yeah. want, but I usually, right go, left -handed, right? I usually go clockwise. And I'm going to throw in a half a cup of pre-washed cilantro. We love cilantro here in the south. I pre-washed it because what we do, we store it in Tupperware Fridge Smarts. These are my favorite Tupperware products because of their amazing technology. They make my, my cilantro last two to three times longer. So I can have it for two weeks instead of two or three days. It used to be goo in the bottom of my drawer in two days when I bring it home from the grocery. So between the grooves on the bottom, they allow your produce to sit above the liquid. And this unique vent on the top, Tupperware did a lot of research to, dis to determine how to produce freeze. Because... Different produce breathes differently. Some are heavy breathers, some are medium breathers, some are light breathers. How do you know? Do you say, hey, cilantro, how are you breathing today? Yeah, not so much. So Tupperware's done all the work for us. It even has this little picture on here that shows us where to vent the top. So easy to, easy to figure out how to do it. And it's embedded between two, two layers of plastic so it won't come off. So Jonah's got that open for us. So you're gonna open, close the handles again. Just open it. Mm -hmm. You put it on, same thing, white yep. on. And lift it off. Then, look. Awesome. That was glue, separating from the Separate seal. Separating the seal. Did no you know the edges. dirtiest part of your kitchen, the dirtiest inch of your kitchen, is right there, normally on those regular can openers where it cuts the blade? Yeah, because you open cat food, and you open tuna, then you open your salsa, your tomatoes for salsa that you don't cook. Yeah, yuck. Mm -hmm. Nasty, dirtiest part. So. We don't have to worry about that here because we just separated the whole seal, which also means no sharp edges. So while he's dumping that in, I'm going to zest some lime into this. Now, I love to bake. I've used a lot of different zesters in my day. And, you know, my husband, his boss's favorite thing is key lime pie. First time I ever made key lime pie was so fast using this. Now, in the past zesters I've used, I'm like scraping it off the top. But not with this one. Look at that. I don't have to scrape it off. I can measure it from in here and then just dump it into what I'm cooking. Or you can even just grate right over whatever it is you're cooking. So easy. I love it. It's so sharp. Then we're going to go ahead and squeeze half of it. So I'm going to cut this in half. And I love that this, um, there we go, our little zest and press here will turn this lime inside out. So drop it in upside down, opposite of what you would think you'd do, and give it a good squeeze. You want to squeeze the other half for me? Sure. There. See? Turned it inside out. out. Yeah. Gets it nice Jinx. and dry. Jinx. Go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to put the south here. We do love our heat. I'm going to put some jalapenos in there. Ooh. And our garlic press. I have a clove of garlic in here. I'm going to press right into here. You got that out? I'm going to use back my knife. And this cleans up so easy because the Sorry about that. metal part comes right out so you can easily wash that off. All right. So, now what do we add? Just the seasonings. Yep. So, Jonah, what you gonna add? An eighth of salt. An eighth of teaspoon of salt. Eighth of teaspoon. Our teaspoons are, are flat on the bottom, so they'll stand on your counter. You can pre-measure and then let them sit and it won't dump. And I have some of our Southwest Chipotle seasoning we mixed up. So I'm gonna put a, ha a half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of that. In here? Now we're ready. It's too spicy. You want to do the fun part? Yep. All right. Oh, and you know what we did? In case you don't like raw onions, if that's, that taste is too strong, but you like caramelized, look, we caramelized some ahead of time in our Chef Series cookware. This cookware is amazing. Oh, you Watch like this. It. Yeah, I'm just going to get them out. Look, it looks like we never even cooked in it. Ish. 
Amazing. Then okay, go ahead. A, then you use a Tupperware towel, wipe around, yeah. and then it's clean. You can wipe it out with paper towel, and it's clean. I love that. Right. Super easy. 87 rotations of that blade, Jonah. Now, what we started with, of course, is chips. So the more you pull it, the less chunky it is, right? The more purified it becomes. Everything, if you store an open bag of chips in your pantry, they go stale like that, right? Have you ever had to throw away your whole pantry because it was infested with bugs? Yeah, we did that. Ooh. Never again. Our whole pantry is now in Modular Mates. Everything comes home from the grocery store, goes straight into a Modular Mate to be stored permanently. Awesome. This is such an amazing system. Then when you can look in the refrigerator, into the pantry, and say, oh, I'm low on flour, and get the flour at this store. It's so easy. Then we serve it in our chip and dip holder, which is so fun, because the salsa we can put in here, and this is round, seal, so it'll seal tight, or tight. We've actually put guacamole in here that we had leftover. I know, guac leftover guacamole. Who has leftover guacamole? I don't know how that happened, but about two weeks later, I'm not lying, two weeks later, we were like, oh, this is going to be gross, and we opened it, it was green. It was still green. We were so shocked we ate it. It was so good. So <laughs> chips in here. Salsa and dips, you can actually microwave reheat these. You can freeze them full of water, put it in the middle, put your potato salad around it, keep your potato salad cold for hours, or fill it with ice and put, um, like put beer in it and put lemon and lime in here. You can put shrimp in the top with ice in here. You can put buns in here, lettuce, pickles, tomatoes. So versatile, so many uses for that. Ooh, look at Jonah's salsa. Look at that. It chopped everything up nice and fine. Of course, All right. with the cover. What's the last thing we got going on here? This is they, our, what? Our stack cooker. cooker. What did we make? Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. So the stack cooker is one of my favorite, one of my favorite microwave cooking products because I can ground, a, 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 a ground beef in here, brown it. And look, because of the condor in the bottom, on top of another one, all that grease is going to sink down into the bottom piece and it'll catch all the grease. It'll drain it for me. I don't have to clean that splatter off of my stove. Smart. This There's a lid cool. or you can even cook it upside down and put dessert in the top. You can steam a vegetable in the middle and cook something else in the bottom. So we've done shrimp and grits, one of our favorites, right? Grits in the bottom, some shrimp and some greens in the in here. The shrimp takes three minutes. Tender, moist, delicious, right? So, Tupperware knows how busy we are. Everything comes with a round seal. So why don't we dump that cake right on under the seal? We made a chocolate cake in the microwave. How long did it take us to make this chocolate cake? Seven minutes in the microwave. Okay. So watch. Just yeah. dump it out. Look at that. And what I did ahead of time, uh -oh. oh, but well, I put some ganache in there. I'll just Look at how it nice out, that it is. So the ganache would just sort of self frost the cake. So that's it. We just wanted to show y'all how to make some quick fun snacks for a party. Thanks, y'all.